the hell was that? The sound of a grown man squealing in a manner not becoming a member of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Oh, Turnbull. Donkey Kong Angels. That's Honky Tonk Angels. Kitty Wells. I don't think she was singing about video games back in the 50s. Can't go in there. Yeah, just watch me. Look, I said you just... No problem? Yes. Why don't you just take a 20, sweetheart? All right, I'm looking for my wife. I want to see you. Baby, that's far enough, Dwight. It's okay, girl. What, I got to hear this on the radio? You can't call me? Well, there's a lot of bars between here and Tennessee, Dwight. I guess I just didn't know which one to call. Oh, that's cold, baby. Because you know if anything ever happened to you, I... Listen, we need to and get him know to that. I could do that, and we'll deal with him later. What? Well, wait a minute. What? 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 You're gonna deal with me? Huh? You're gonna deal with me? Who wrote the tune, huh? That's enough, Dwight. Who wrote the damn tune? That's enough! You're going home! What happened to gratitude? Huh? Drop it, Dwight. Come on! Ah, oh, welcome. In honor of your stature as the queen of country music, I have prepared the regal suite. And, oh, um, also, uh, on behalf of your privacy, I intercepted a number of messages. A man named Sid called about, uh, oh, I don't know, I sent him packing. Uh, a reporter looking for an interview, I also sent him packing. And a very curious conversation with a man named The Coast. Something about a movie thingy. A turbo. Ms. Jenkins has had a very full day. Say no more, sir. This calls for something calming. Some Saskatoon berry tea. I'm sorry, he's uh well. Your life sounds very busy. Well, George has a motto, you know. Busy is bigger, bigger is better. I, I think he's got a tattoo somewhere, actually. <laughs> I love George, but uh, I wonder what happened to the simple things. Well, I often ask myself the very same question. Thanks for tonight. No, oh, it was nothing. You saved my life, Fraser. Thank you. You, uh, my cheek. <laughs> right, uh, well, it's uh, 16 stairs here to the landing. Follow me, please. All right, everybody, listen up. I have a medical update on Officer McCafferty. She sustained some muscle damage to her right arm, but she's going to be just fine. Uh, they checked out the Cyber Grind Cafe and nothing. Mind you, those space cadets couldn't ID Monica Lewinsky if uh, she was interning for him. All right, keep up the hard work. Let me know if Monica shows up. Right. Uh, for any, what'd you get? Listen to this. From Russia. Dear Tracy, you have been an eyesore to us these past three months on our sensory canal. We flatter you, O oh courageous queen. I Can Love Again is for us the gate key to leave Siberia and become supermodels, signed Olga and Vaselina. Vaselina supermodels? They got a return address on that? Why are you cheapening this? I mean, listen to what they're saying. That song gave them hope. Yeah, just like you hope there's no donkey in a country song. 50 bucks. You're on. You got it. You know, letter writing can sometimes be something of an art. Yeah. And some are just plain creepy. Hmm. You know what? You know what we should do? What? We should write one. Write what? A letter? No, a country song. I mean, how hard can it be? Yeah. It could be fun, huh? Yeah. We could cut a CD. Why don't you go platinum? Or we could make some real money. Write some jingles and have the song used in a commercial. No. No, I'm not going to allow my music to be prostituted like that, okay? I'm not going to compromise my principles. Oh, please, you don't have any music or principles. Now, this group is harmless. This group is threatening to some degree. And thank you, Deef. This pile, Deef and Baker found to be particularly offensive. Hey, check this one out. I got a guy here, he sends in a stack of lottery tickets so that she can bless them. So why need you send them to the Pope? Because the Pope can't carry a tune in a bucket. Okay, who's the biggest freak show? Well, we got a wide assortment, but it seems the most dedicated one is in Mr. Carver Dunn. Ooh, he's a hometown boy. Look at this. Over 114 letters written over a three-month period, all of them ending with your one true love. Hang on a second. You got a copy of that fax? Mm-hmm. Your connection? Uh, same lingo. Uh, run them, Franny. Lingo is a, well, it's a tenuous connection, right? Tenuous. Mm. Look, if I can't have you, no one will. If I can't have you, no one will. Yes, but Ray, these letters, I mean, apart from being a, a testament to the sad and lonely absurdity of man's cruel fate, are relatively benign, whereas this fax 
is a virtual torrent of mental illness. Ooh, look at this. Carver Dunn disturbing the peace, loitering. Who gets busted for loitering? Fruitcakes. Uh -huh. He's got a restraining order against him. Bidding him to go within 100 yards of Linda Lawless, the singer. Well, it would appear that perhaps I was uh, wrong. wrong and that maybe we should pick uh, him up. Pick him up. I'm a wacko. Who give a wacko a permit? Well, the state of Florida seems to have a loose approach to gun ownership. You ever been to Florida? Who wants to see Mickey? Did he give you a gun? He's a mouse, mister. I was six. Where's my lawyer? How about we give him a paraffin test, see if he fired a weapon recently? Won't work, Ray. Peroxide. I dyed my mother's hair this morning. That's not a crime. In the state of Illinois, yes, it is, pal. It is a crime to be your mother's hairdresser. I'm not a hairdresser, mister. I'm a stylist. If I can't have you, no one will. Did you write these words? There's a fan club. They ask you to write in. That's not a crime. A police officer was shot. That's attempted murder. That is a crime. Vecchio, Mr. Dunn is lawyered up. Oh, well. Very, very sorry. Terrible, terrible mistake. Let's go. You're free to go. Thanks a lot for coming. Bye-bye. Your parking will be validated at the door. Thank you. You're letting him go. He's written a million letters, tried to put a bullet in her, and you're letting him go. I left two of my best men parked outside his house, but right now we have nothing that places him at the scene of the shooting. Unless we have some solid evidence can take to the state's attorney's office, there's, there's really not much more we can do. Until she's dead. Is that what you're saying? It's called I Won't Be Home for Supper because they're going to hang me tonight. It's a story song that blends the world of horticulture with the world of bank robbery. Trace, you ready? Excuse me, but this is a non-smoking environment. This is a cigar. We got about a half hour to the session. I could sing it in a heartbeat. I ain't set to go. I could do it in double time. <laughs> All right, guys. Tracy. Listen, listen he, he's a songwriter. You never know where my next hit record's gonna come from. So uh, go on to the car, okay, or I'll be right out. All okay. Right. okay. You the boss. So, Constable, how many verses in this song of yours? Oh. 21 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>